Go to the actual settings. And here you can change various things on your account, such as your password, um, enable and disable various functions. Um, and enable 2FA, which is the, the prime reason I'm here. So what I've got is I use an iPhone. Um, you should be able to see that page there. And I'm just going to download the Google Authenticator program. So I'm going into the App Store. I'm going to search for Google. And it's already installed on my phone, but you would have an install bot option there if you didn't have it already. And we're just going to get started. And this is really simple. Scan the QR code. It should work exactly the same on Android. And that's it. We've got three commas linked to our 2FA program. Um, it's very important that you make a note of your backup key. Um, because if you ever lose your phone, it's damaged, it's lost, it's broken, or you have to reinstall the 2FA program then you can easily uh, restore your accounts that you have created the 2FA uh, link for. Um, so it's very important to remember to write down your secret keys, especially if you are linking to exchange accounts, because again, it can take you know several days sometimes to unlock the accounts because you've got to verify that you're the owner of the account uh, before anybody will disable that feature. So because I've put in this code, And that's it, all linked up. Uh, three commas will now sign me out. And every 60 seconds, we get a new code generated. So I'll just sign back in. And put in the new code that's on my device, which is there. So we can see it's going to reset after 60 seconds and we've got a new code. So 2FA is by far the, the best security you can have on your account. Um, and we'd recommend everybody enables that. It just adds an extra layer of protection than just having a password uh, on your account.